Hi guys, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Chelsea and I just wanted to come on here and share my updated skincare routine because it has changed kind of a lot since the last time I posted one of those videos. So I just got back from spin class and I'm in a shower and then we'll get right into the nighttime skincare routine. Okay, so I'm out of the shower now. I feel great, especially just sweating so much in spin class. So let's talk skincare. So my routine stays the same morning and night. Um, I rarely change it up. I maybe change like one product. Um, but the reason for that is I just found my skin responds so much better to just consistency. So let's talk about what I use to wash it. So I use the La Roche Posay purifying foaming cleanser for normal to oily skin. It's in this blue bottle. It looks like this. Um, and you can find this at like Target. I don't know where else you can get it, but I know for sure it's at Target because that's where I get it from. And I love this face wash. It's the first face wash that after the first time of using it, I feel like I could feel a difference. Um, and it's not overly drying. It is a little bit drying, but it's not like, like, you know, making my skin feel like gross. So that's all I did right now. Um, I washed my face when I was in the shower. So let's jump into some other products. So the next product I go in with is the Coco Kind. Ooh, there's a hair on it. It's the Coco Kind Chia Facial Oil. So this has omega-3 concentrate for a youthful glow. Um, and that just looks like this. I'm not really sure where you can get this. I'm sure you can find it online. I'll hold it up closer so you can see. I'll also link all these products below, but I love this oil. I did a little bit of research on oil because I was super hesitant with having acne prone skin. Um, but it was like from what I found, it said that chia seed oil or chia oil doesn't break you out or irritate the skin. So I'm gonna put some of that on. I like really enjoy this oil too. I wear it under my makeup and everything and I literally just do like a few drops and I just put it all over my face. And I'm so sorry about the lighting in here. This room is like not cute and the lighting's terrible but I lost sunlight and there's no windows in this room. So that is the oil. I'll try to find some light but it's, it's super pretty and like I just... I like the way it lays under my makeup and I also like the way it makes my skin feel when I sleep with it on. So after the oil, I go in with the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid that looks like this. Um, and I like to do this one after this one because that one's obviously like more of an oil. This one's more of like a thicker serum. So I don't know, you're supposed to go like lightest to heaviest. So now I'm just gonna put like half a pump of that all over my skin. I really like hyaluronic acid too, like mixed with the oil. Um, I was really hesitant at first because, especially like under makeup, I put the oil and the serum because I used to get so oily. Um, but actually it's been sitting so well under this new like tinted CC cream that I got and it looks so pretty all day long. I don't get oily and they work really well together. So once I've gone in with those, the last step in my routine is moisturizer. And for the moisturizer, I use the La Roche Posay Double Repair Face Moisturizer. And it just looks like this. Again, you can find this at Target. I'm almost out of mine. And I just go in, I go in with kind of a lot. But I just like the way it makes my skin feel. And it's not like, it's super hydrating. It's just not really heavy. So. It doesn't make me feel like I have this like crazy cream on, which I enjoy. And I also put it on my eyelids because for some reason in like drier seasons, my eyes get so dry. Does anyone else have that? Like they turn like pink because they're so dry. So once I put my moisturizer on, my skin just feels so hydrated. The reason why, like, well, I guess only two of my, well, I like La Roche Posay a lot because every single time I've tried one of their products, it's worked like the first time. Like I've noticed a huge difference. So that's really why like I stopped going for like more luxurious brands to more brands that just like actually focus on skincare because there's no added fragrance or any of that in these products. Sorry, my cat is like getting into something. 
Um, there's no added fragrance or anything, so it's just skincare. And that's like what my skin needs. I used to try and buy like all the crazy expensive stuff because I'm like, oh, all the influencers are doing this and it's working for them. But you know what? Everyone's skin is different and this is what works best for mine is just having like nothing that my skin will react to. So that's why I went with this more simple routine. So I do that morning and night. The only thing that I change in my routine is if I'm having like a bad breakout right now, I'm just really red. Like that's all flat on my cheeks that I'm trying to get rid of. Um, if I have like a big breakout or like occasionally I'll put this on because it is really drying, but it's the Roche Posay Effaclar Duo and it's a dual action acne treatment with 5.5% benzoyl peroxide. Um, usually this like any medication for acne makes my face swell up and I have like a terrible reaction but with this I haven't had any reaction so if I'm doing this I'll literally just wash my face and put this on um, and it looks like this sorry I forgot to show you again you can find it at Target um, the only reason I alternate this and I don't do it every night is because it's so drying that if I do it multiple days in a row I start to get really flaky like all right here and it's just like not fun when you're trying to go to work and like put makeup on and stuff and your skin is like flaking off halfway through the day but also this stuff is freaking bomb like it's so good this is like i honestly believe this is what has prevented breakouts on my skin i really haven't had like an actual like true breakout like i used to in I don't I can't, months now, which is like so awesome. Um, but I would for sure give this a try if you have acne prone skin. It's like honestly amazing. So that would be the only thing that I would switch up and I would only do this at night. Also, if you are going to get this bad boy, just make sure that you're wearing sunscreen during the day because it does like benzoyl peroxide, all of acne treatment. Sorry, my cat is, hey. If you do use that, you need some sunscreen on during the day because the acne treatment, I don't really know the science behind it, but I know it makes your skin more um, prone to being sunburnt and it's really sensitive to sun. So I put sunblock on. If I'm doing a face one, let me see if I can find it. Yeah. Sorry, my camera cut off when I was talking about SPF and the Ethiclar Duo from La Roche Posay. Um, but if you do use that at night, like I said, it's important to have sunscreen on in the morning or like for the next day. So I like to go in with my Sunbum face um, sunblock and it has UVA, UVB, UVB, broad spectrum, uh, fragrance free, dermatologist tested, gluten free, and vegan. Um, so that like means a lot to me that it has no fragrance in it because it's so hard to find a good sunblock um, for your face. And it doesn't make me feel oily or gross. It doesn't break me out. I mean, not that I've noticed. Um, so I really love this if I'm going in with like a normal foundation. But my everyday like tinted moisturizer uh, has SPF in it. So I'm inside all day working. So I. Oh my god, my camera's so cool. Okay, I keep saying my card is full, but basically I'm inside all day. So my. SPF is in my tinted moisturizer, so that's usually what I'm wearing on a daily basis. But that is my whole entire skin routine. If you'd like to see anything else or have any recommendations for any other video, that'd be great. I'm having a really hard time finding some inspiration. I know I said I wanted to post every Monday, um, but I kind of only want to post if I'm like passionate about things. So if you have any suggestions, that would be great. I would love to show you my day off routine because it's kind of fun and it's like very productive because I have like a Monday off. So that's my like get stuff done day. Um, so if you'd like to see that, like this video, but thank you so much if you made it to this point. That means a lot to me um, and stay tuned for my next video. Bye.